Hi guys, I hope you're having a great two weeks off. So I'm trying to figure out how to put audio in a PowerPoint, but obviously it's beyond my scope of expertise. So I'm popping up a PowerPoint uh, with a short introduction of the Grapes of Wrath. You'll notice that I also put a video in there of a short introduction of the Grapes of Wrath. What I really want you to focus on is the fact that the Grapes of Wrath is a novel unlike any other novels that you're used to. Steinbeck wrote it as a form of social protest. He saw what was going on in the world and he wanted to affect change. Much like Jonathan Swift when he saw the starving Irish people and he wrote A Modest Proposal, he used satire. Steinbeck is using the pathos of his story in order to affect change. So the format of the novel is much different from what you're used to. They have, um, if you'll notice on the, the, um, reading guide that I posted. I have the chapters into two different columns. So one column is the narrative column, which is the story of the Joad family. The other column is what's known as interclary chapters. And interclary chapters are basically nonfiction chapters that can be read. <laughs> Sorry, my husband wants to cook pizza right now, but he can't. Um, that are basically stories, like factual stories of what's going on at the time. Because he was a reporter prior to becoming a novelist. In addition, in order to effect change, one way to appeal to um, the population's pathos is through Christian symbolism. Because most of the people at the time, or the people that he was trying to reach, were Christian. And uh, much like Olada Aquino, when he said, oh ye nominal Christians, that's what John Steinbeck was saying. He's like, here, listen. How can you allow people to be treated in such a fashion? So please pay attention to Jim Casey. Jim Casey should be um, regarded as a Christ figure. So JC, Jim Casey, Jesus Christ. You'll notice he's a preacher. Jesus Christ is a preacher and all of that good stuff. So please pay attention to Jim Casey. He's an important character, although he's not the main character. Tom Joad is the main character of this story. And probably he's a disciple of Jim Casey. You see how that goes? Um, other than that, I think you're going to love the book. It is probably up there in my top five of all time favorite books. I always say that The Grapes of Wrath is the crime and punishment of American literature. So since you all have been brainwashed by Jones and Eller about loving crime and punishment, I shall now brainwash you to enjoy Grapes of Wrath. And I am going to sign off so my husband can make pizza for my kids so they can go to sleep and um, we can just watch TV. Y'all have a great break. Bye.